Shifting focus now to Sri Lanka, where the spotlight remains on fresh investigations concerning the 2019 Easter bombings. Lankan President Ranil Vikrame Singhe will be appointing a committee chaired by a retired Supreme Court judge for probing recent allegations made by British broadcaster Channel 4 on the alleged perpetrators of the deadly bombings. Now, four years after the coordinated suicide bombings that left about 269 dead, a British television report has made a chilling claim that the Sri Lankan intelligence has, was complicit in the bombings. A man who was interviewed by the Channel 4 news firm, he claims to have arranged a secret meeting between an Islamic extremist group and a top Sri Lankan intelligence official in 2018. He alleges the meeting was to hatch a plot to jeopardize the security situation in Sri Lanka. Soon after the bombings, the camera footage was released of the perpetrators. The man claims that that's when he realized that the suicide bombers were the same people who met the intelligence officials. The claims don't end with this. Reportedly, there was also politics at play. The intelligence official believed that creating a national security crisis was the only way to bring back the Rajapaksas back to power. And that's exactly what happened. The bombings took place in April of 2019 and within the next seven months, Gotabaya Rajapaksa was sworn in as the president and his brother Mahinda Rajapaksa was chosen as the prime minister. Rajapaksas have also been accused of obstructing law enforcement process. It was quickly understood that a national the group, National Tawait Jamaat, were behind the bombings. This is a group inspired from the Islamic State. But accusations suggest that Rajapaksas had associations with the NTJ and they made it hard for authorities to arrest its leaders prior to the bombings. The Rajapaksas even blocked a full investigation after the attack. Now, these shocking claims have prompted an official probe in Sri Lanka. Ranil Vikramasinghe's government will appoint a parliamentary committee the Labour Minister says that the details of the investigation will be announced soon.